Hello children. Today I have taken Act 4, Scene 1. First, I will discuss the summary of the scene. So, this scene takes place before Prospero's cell. Prospero by now is satisfied with the genuineness of Ferdinand's love for Miranda. Or you can say he finally sanctifies Miranda and Ferdinand's love for each other. So, Act 4 starts on a positive note with Prospero explaining to Ferdinand about the circumstances that led to his punishment. He says that all the labor he had to do was only a test of his love for Miranda. He offers Miranda's hand as a reward for the sincerity and sense of responsibility shown by Ferdinand and says that in due course, uh, they would get married. He goes on to describe Mirinda's qualities and how precious she is to him. At this time, Ariel appears and Prospero orders it to bring all the spirits of the island so that he can entertain the about to be wedded couple. And also he wants to show to Ferdinand and Mirinda a specimen of his supernatural art. Then begins a mask in honor of the betrothal of Ferdinand and Miranda. For mask, Shakespeare chooses Juno, Sirius, and Irish, while Venus and her son Cupid are predominantly absent, since this symbolizes passionate love. Whereas the dramatist Shakespeare wanted to portray innocence, and he does make goddesses appear who promise both prosperity and fertility appropriate for a royal couple. So various spirit appear as goddesses. This is an evidence of Prospero's superior magic skill. A mask is staged. Irish, the goddess of rainbow, Sirius, the goddess of agriculture, and Juno, the goddess of heaven, come and bless the couple. Sirius want an assurance that the function will not be attended by Venus, the goddess of love, and Cupid, her son, because she has always been avoiding their company ever since Pluto, the god of death, carried off her daughter Prosperina with their help. Irish, the goddess of rainbow, says that Venus and Cupid tried their best to make some mischief with Ferdinand and Mirinda, but they failed and had already left. Then Juno blesses the young couple with honor, wealth, happiness, etc. Sirius blesses them with the fertility of soil, full granaries, trees laden with fruits, etc. Irish calls upon the nymphs and the reapers to appear and to join a dance. Ferdinand admires the mask heartily and calls it a grand vision. He is so much lost in admiration of the mask that he even desires to live in that earthly paradise. He longs to stay back forever on the island with Prospero as his father and Miranda as his wife. He asks Prospero whether the characters in the mask are spirits. Prospero tells him they are spirits called by the help of his magic. But he explained to Ferdinand that all no, the whole show was an illusion. In one speech that is very famous, he says that the earth with all its treasures, its splendid palaces and temples is itself an illusion. Prospero then remembers Caliban's plot and dismisses the crowd. Ferdinand is surprised and Miranda says that she has never seen her father so distressed. But uh, Prospero apologizes to Ferdinand and asks them to rest in the cave. Prospero asks Ariel about the whereabouts of Caliban, Stefano and Trinclo. Prospero has now to deal with the conspirators. Ariel tells Prospero how he has led Caliban by his music and his drunken companions Trinclo and Stefano through thorny shrubs and bushes into a stinging filthy pond. He also narrates that he left them in the pool dancing up to their chins. Prospero gives Ariel some credit for his fine performance. He then asks him to hang a number of showy clothes as a tree on, the, on a tree. This is made to divert the attention of the conspirators. 
this order is immediately carried out the fools guided by caliban come out of the pond with muddy feet and reach near the cell of prospero they jump with joy on seeing rich clothes hanging on the branches and decide to put these clothes on caliban tells them not to waste their time on the clothes but go ahead with the plot to murder prospero but stefano and trinclo do not pay any attention to the appeals of caliban instead caliban is loaded with these clothes to carry these for them suddenly a noise is heard various spirit in the shape of hunting dogs appear these have been ordered by prospero to chase away the conspirators on seeing these dogs and hunters the conspirators run away in a state of confusion prospero then orders the spirit to trouble the conspirators with ache pains and cramps all of them groan with pain and prospero is pleased to see the success of his scheme of things which has brought his enemies helpless to his feet prospero is also much pleased with the services of ariel he assures ariel that the period of his service is soon drawing to a close and he will soon be free so here is the the end